Hi everyone! I decided to do a couple of new felt ornaments for my Christmas tree. Here I have quite old kit from Biusilla. It's called Christmas Cookies. And why I love this set? It's because here we have six different ornaments. You know that usually Biusilla in their kits they have three ornaments repeated two times, but I much more prefer kits where we have six different ornaments. I have already stitched a couple of ornaments from this kit, like this gingerbread man or gingerbread house, and today I want to do this very cute elf. When I stitch Bucilla ornaments, I always follow these instructions. Step by step, I have found that when I follow these instructions, stitching goes very quickly, very easy, and I think that these instructions, they are so good that even for beginners, it's quite easy to do Bucilla felt ornaments. So, here I have chart, here I have description. To find this detail number one on which I need to work, it's 24, then I will need to go to the 25 and I look at the cover. I see that I need to check on the felt in red color and here is my detail number 24, the beginning of my stitching. But usually before I start to cut details from the felt fabric, I prefer to do all the embroidery, because for me it's much easier to do embroidery, to do more neat stitches when I'm able to keep bigger uh, piece of felt, so it's easier to rotate, to stitch, so first I do embroidery and only then I cut details, especially when I work on very small details like we have here. We need to stitch on the hair, we need to stitch on the gingerbread man and on the leaves, so stitching first. And of course I consult color chart. I can see that I need to find this line. Here I can see that embroidery will be in two strands of pink color and here is the description of the stitches. I never was very good on this outline stitch, but I will try. Embroidery isn't my favorite part of doing Bucilla ornament, but I do love to attach sequins and I do love to assemble the whole ornament together. I will return to you in a minute and I will show you results of my first stage when I will finish to do basic embroidery on the main details. I did embroidery on the short using pink threads. Here on the short it doesn't look very accurate. As I said, it's not my strong side to, to do these stitches, but at least here on the sleeve it looks better. I started to remember how to do the stitches properly. Also, I decided to do stitches on the head. And I did embroidery on the hair here. It's the front of the hair. Well, according to the instruction, next I need to attach this suspender to the front of the shirt. So I will be cutting both details and I will attach one to another. And my next step will be embroidery of the face and then I need to attach face to the front of the shirt. It's very important to have 
nice sharp scissors with a very thin tip of the scissors. Especially you have to be very careful when you already have embroidery, so when you cut closer to the stitches you need to be very careful. And when I cut I prefer to delete all white lines. I don't like when white lines, white lines are visible in the final stitched ornament. cut it slightly bigger and then it will be easier for me to cut precisely along the line. This part will be covered by sleeves, so here I don't have to be very careful and precise. Well, the front of the shirt also will be masked by the gingerbread man, so here I also can cut without deleting a white line, so just Here we are with the shirt. And now this green detail. Here I definitely want to erase all black lines.
Well, I did stitching on the face of the elf and then I attached head to the body. Besides here, I also added the segment as it was required, but it's strange because here it will be totally covered by arm. But well, we will see how it will look in the end. So I attached head to the body and also I attached hair to the head. On the face, when I did stitching on the skewed nose, I realized that as I still have this thread in my needle and the same color I need for stitching hands, I also did ears, stitching on ears here and here and stitching on hand as we need to do this embroidery very close to the edge of the hand I had to cut this detail. Usually I prefer not to cut everything before I actually need to attach it to the main ornament but here I had to do it. I did simply wanted to save time because you know like you put thread in, inside the needle, you do this small detail, then you change to another color, then back again. So I decided to save time a little bit. But face here is still isn't finished because it's suggested to add a little bit of blush to the cheeks. And here I have some pink soft pastel. I'm not sure how it will go, but I will try. That it's not bad. I will add it very gently. I think that the elf looks very cute. And also to add some more expression to the eyes of the elf, I also need to do tiny French knots inside of these black areas. So I will try to do it now. And the second one. Now phase is finished. And on the next step, I need to add sequins to the front part of the head and then to stitch these stars. Here will be the row of red sequins and here stars are attached by golden sequins. And then I will cut this head and I will attach it to the top of the head and then I will return to you. Here is the next stage of my progress. I completed head. I did this row of sequins, then I attached golden stars and golden sequins. But instead of doing French knots between them, I decided to add some yellow tiny beads from my own stash. I think that in such way head looks a little bit more interesting. Then I assembled everything together and I even already added this ear 
it was from two parts. I folded it and I attached it to the head. My next step will be to add back of the shirt and of course I will need to stuff it already. Then I will need to add back of the head, back of the hair and head also. So I am fully prepared to start stuffing my elf. And of course here I will need to attach this hand. I did embroidery, I stuffed it a little bit so I can start adding it to the sleeve. And here is my progress. You can see that I had attached both ears, then hair, and it was quite delicate work because I wanted all stitches along the hairline to be almost invisible. Then I added all sequins and attached these stars to the head. Here it was supposed to do uh, French knots, but I decided that tiny yellow beads from my own stash will look better and I think that head looks quite festive. As usual, I totally forgot to put this hanger between front and back sides of the head when I stitched it, so then I had to struggle a lot when I finally remembered that I need to attach this loop for hanging. But I think that my elf looks quite cute. I didn't want to put too much stuffing inside, so it's nice. Now the only thing I need to do with head is to attach this pom-pom with embroidery and sequins here. Also I did this arm. I attached sleeve to the hand and then the back of the sleeve and I need to attach it here near the shoulder with a couple of stitches of red. And I even started to do my gingerbread man and I struggled a lot because I'm awful with this type of embroidery, my stitches are awful. So on the arms I even decided to add couple of beads again from my own stash and I think that it helped me to hide a little bit my ugly embroidery stitching. Now I proceed to sew um, to sew both sides of the gingerbread man and to put stuffing inside. I think that he is quite cute. I love him and then finally I will be attaching all, all elements together and my Christmas ornament will be finished. That's how I attached all elements together, this pom-pom to the head, then near shoulder and here I attached arm to the body. Here I didn't attach it so you can move it. And finally I attached arm and leg of the gingerbread man to the body of the elf. Now I need to do one final stitch here and to attach hand to the gingerbread man so I selected color which is similar to this felt. All stitching I prefer to do with, um, with the thinner needle which intended for... Now my elf is almost finished. I have, uh, I have attached pom-pom to the head then I attached arm here on the shoulder with couple of stitches. I attached it to the body. Here the elbow isn't attached to the body. Then by the arm and leg I attached gingerbread man to the body of the elf. 
and now I need to do one final stitch and to press this hand to the body of the gingerbread man. So here I have thread which is corresponding to the color of this felt. Usually all my stitching I prefer to do with a smaller needle. Needle which is intended for beads, but I love to use it also for sewing, for attaching details together, because it helps me to create more tiny, almost invisible stitches. And bigger needle I use only for embroidery, where I need to put two, thre two threads into one needle, and this embroidery it's easier for me to do with bigger needle. So one final touch and ornament finally will be completed.